I am Martin García García, and today I'm actually gonna show you five ways in which Bach was Chopin's master. Number one. deserve any any words in the same harmonic uh, sequence Number two, actually this one is maybe a little bit more tricky, especially in the beginning actually with the, with the difference between the, the harmonic sequence and the bass. And then you go with the Bach. And then in the middle there is even more information, which is in the Chopin it goes like this, from the left to the right hand, and in the same harmonic sequence as the Bach I will play later. And then in the Bach it goes... And that figuration is really similar to... Yeah, actually, that... And then it goes... Yeah. It's very... It's very similar, yeah. I, I wouldn't have guessed those two are similar, but <laughs> they are. I just thought of it, but it is there, actually, it, yeah. yeah. We go with number three, still a C-sharp uh, minor. We go with the Bach first, maybe it's easier. find the same in the Mazur Corpus 50 number three, which goes almost the same figuration and exactly the same uh, harmonical progression. So it goes. And then in the left hand, same harmonical progression. Number four, we're actually gonna take the fugue from the same prelude that I played. Uh, in number three, and you can actually find this tema. This tema, you can actually find it in the development section of the third uh, Chopin sonata, which uh, I'm gonna take a, a random place, but I'm, I'm gonna mark specifically those, those uh, four notes, which is almost like actually Bach's, his own name put in, uh, putting notes. So here, here it goes. Actually, find it and many times that same melody you can find it many times in that development section is fantastic. It's also just all of the polyphony. In the that piece. polyphony is pure bar, yes. whatever partita you want, whatever fugue, it's, <laughs> it's all there. Yeah, <laughs> so now we'll go with number five, which is actually probably my favorite. This is fun. Let's start with the Bach. this remind you of? Let's see, let's see. A prelude, if nobody, if nobody remembers. Sorry. 
So it shows the Chopin left hand slowly. <laughs> Okay, the CD is called uh, Chopin and His Master, which is, yeah, the, the reason for this video. <laughs> <laughs> Worldwide, we can find it on Spotify, Apple Music, the, the usual streaming uh, platforms. It will, be, it will be in physical edition in, in Japan, but uh, yeah, who has a CD in their hands anymore, <laughs> so. Martin, any thank yous you wanna give? Well, very much thank you to Fazioli. And thank you to Fazioli. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you like this piano? I don't like it, I love it. The most beautiful feature of, of this uh, action and this piano is that you can control it from the pianissimo. I, I didn't even pretend to be so pianissimo, and there you go. That's from the fortissimo, you have so many gradations, full control. And then of course the sound is just the resonance of this sound for this. I have nothing to say. Play one chord like this in and listen how it carries. It's, it's just beautiful. We all thank them for making these beautiful instruments. If you really want to play your Chopin well, practice your Bach.